Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you how to do some really cool formulas. Plus, this is a this is part one of a two-part series. So in the end, you're going to end up with target charts, just like you see right here, especially this top row, this goals target chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to first today in this series we're going to go through a lot of not a lot but some really cool formulas some nested ifs an if and an and with two conditions in it and I'll show you how to do multiple conditional if statements and what we'll do is we're going to take those and then we're going to apply them in part two to create graphs like this so what I want to do is I want to go right here and we're going to go to the data okay and the data for this for today is uh, car sales data. So this is car sales for a, a uh, car dealership that has seven uh, representatives in it, sales reps. So we got Mark, Regina, Stephen, Hussein, Greg, and Thomas. And then it replays them again for the next day and so on. And what I want to show you in this uh, data set is this area right above here. So we have percent of goal, at goal, percent above goal, percent below goal, and final commission. So what we're going to start with is they have a daily goal, and at this car dealership, they figure out their profit. They have a pre-commission, which is based off of that profit. Then they have a Christmas bonus. They take out $25 for each car sold. So if you sold two cars in that day, you take $50 out. If you sold one car, it's $25. If you sold no cars, you take out zero. Then they have another commission, which they figure out after that. So this is the pre-commission, too. This is after the Christmas bonus is taken out. Then they have a daily goal, and this daily goal is established and set um, based on their previous month's uh, or last previous month's uh, goals or goal attainment. So then they have are these important pieces. So are they at percent of goal? So what percent of goal are they at? So this one here is just basically I2 divided by J2, which is your pre-commission, your commission after the Christmas bonus divided by the daily goal. So are they at the daily goal? What percentage of it are they at? And then the next thing here is at goal. Are they at goal? Now this is, gets a little bit more complex because we're using a two conditions. So normally in most languages you would say if A equals B and or an or uh, B equals C. In Excel you put the if and then you put the and then you put the two conditions. So we have K2, which is your percent of goal, equals 1. Now keep in mind, this is percent here. So we have to use a 1 because a 1 equals 100%. If I use percent in here, it won't work. It won't do it right. So this gets converted and it becomes, you know, it gets converted to this. This 1 becomes 100% and it takes that out. Now, so it has to be above 100%. If it's above 100%, and see this and the second condition is e2 equals greater than or equal to 15,000 so we want them to have this car dealership wants its sales reps to have a commission or not a commission a uh, sales number for that day of fifteen thousand dollars with cars it's not very hard to reach so and that's what they want and if they are at goal they get the first result yes if they're not they get no so that's basically what this is. If and condition one, condition two, comma, first result, second result. That's it. So I could have had three conditions in there. I'd still have two results. You can't have three results. So you have this because they are condition. I could have said another one and said uh, if uh, the profit is at a certain level. So I could have said if F2 greater than or equal to $3,500. And that would be a third condition in there, which would make it a little bit harder. They have to meet all three conditions to be a yes. Now, if they're at goal, based on this, you can see right here, if they're at goal, then we want to know percent above goal and we want to know percent below goal if they're not. So if they're at percent above goal, they're above goal, what we have here is if L2, which is the at goal thing, equals yes, then what we have is K2, which is this, minus 1. So we're taking 100% off, so it would be 100.7, right? Which is the answer we get right here, 100.7. Now, the percent below goal is this. It's very similar to the one for percent above goal. All we're doing is instead we're taking if L2 equals no. So if it's no, like in this case, then we want 1 minus K2, which is 100% minus whatever it is, and then we can get the answer. So like in this case, we're off the... Percent of goal is 58.7%, but they didn't meet goal, so they're off by 41.3%. That's percent below goal. 
Okay, then our final commission, this is a little bit, it's a nested if, so it's not that hard. Basically, if M2 is greater than zero, so that's, you know, if our percent above goal is greater than zero, then we want is I2, which is our pre-commission, plus 25. If their percent below goal is above zero, which that means that they're below goal by a certain percentage, then we want to take away $25. So the way this car dealership works is if they're above goal, they get $25 added for every car they sell. If they are below goal, they lose $25 off every car they sell. And it's to kind of give them an incentive to be above goal. Because as long as they're below goal, they're losing $25 on every single car they sell. So that's how this works. So any of these, when I finish the uh, formula, all you got to do again is just go down here where it makes a plus. Double click on that and it carries your formula all the way down through all of your rows and applies to everything. So this is basically how we get the data manipulated or wrangled to where we want it to be with this. So we end up, we first got this, but now we've added a percent of goal, at goal, are they at goal? How much are they above goal? What percentage above goal are they? Because we could take this and go and figure out, okay, who's in the top 10%, who's in the bottom, you know, so on. We can do that also with the below goal. Who's close enough to be at goal that they, you know, we need to work with them a little bit more and just give them that one extra house deal or something to get them above that versus we could have people we could filter out that are like so far below goal, like the 78.3%, that they are just, you know, they might need to be uh, given some extra training or they're on their last legs and they need to go work somewhere else. Maybe they just don't want to be there. So that's what you can utilize this for. Now, in the this is a two-part series, as I told you. So in the next series, we're going to take this data and I'm going to show you how to use pivot charts, we're going to put them in pivot charts, and then we're going to create some cool graphs like this one here, and that's basically the same graph as this one here. I just changed the colors around a little bit, but this will show you how to do goal targets by your sales rep. So I'm going to go over that in the next um, video here of the series. So please be tuned or watch for that. Click on it once I post it, and you'll see and watch it, and you'll learn how to do this and create you know cool graphs that are not a part of the regular Excel. Uh, graphs. So if you go to insert and you want to put charts in there, these goal target charts are not in there for you to choose from. You have to create them. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, we showed you in this video how to do some really cool um, formulas here, especially the uh, if and right here. Now this could also have been if or. If we had two conditions, we wanted an or between them instead. If we want this or this, we would have put an or instead of the and here. And I uh, showed you how to get percent above goal based on that, percent below goal based on that. You can see all the formulas right here. Here it is again for the percent above goal. Here it is for percent of below goal. And the final commission in this case, because they have a, a condition that if they're above goal, they get an extra $25 per deal. If they're below goal, they lose $25 per deal. So that's all in here. So you've got, this tells you exactly how to come up with that. So... Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please watch this one and then watch the next one. Make sure it's a two-part series, so you're going to want to watch that. And then also check out my channel. Please like and subscribe and look at my channel. Look at all the other great videos I have out there on Excel and manipulating data, data science, data analysis. Basically, I want to show you what I do every day in my job in data analysis and data science. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and have a great day.